How you doing, guys? Uh, we're we're going to talk about um, uh, the new um, Apple operating system, uh, Sierra, which is uh, Mac OS uh, Sierra. I believe it's 10.12 uh, off the top of my head. Um, now, some Macs are not supported. In this case, I'm on my uh, Mac Pro uh, 2009 uh, 4.1, and which is an A core. It's not supported in Sierra, but you can upgrade the firmware from uh, 4.1 to 5.1, which is supported for installing Sierra. And actually, they're very similar anyway, the 4.1 and 5.1, um, except for firmware. Now, the firmware allow you um, to upgrade to a newer CPU. You can put six six core instead of a four core if you have a four core installed already and then up to uh, I believe 12 cores or uh, maybe it's, yeah with the uh, the eight core Mac Pro or more so plus uh, I think you can use faster RAM uh, there might be some other minor things as well and you can downgrade as well um, you could uh, upgrade the firmware to 5.1 and later on do you want to um, set it back down to 4.1 firmware. You can do it using the uh, firmware installer. So uh, you can get this from uh, netkiss.org if you go in the form section, and uh, which is right here. I believe it's uh, version 1.0, and it's uh, down here at the bottom. Before you used to have to make a uh, join the form, but now the, he allows it to download without uh, joining but uh, I see them on the Mac rumors and uh, occasionally they do a lot of firmware work and it says right here Mac Pro 2009 to uh, 2010 firmware tool and we're actually going to do it we're going to um, which I knew about uh, I knew eventually my Mac Pro wouldn't be supported in the operating system so I was just simply going to upgrade the firmware and allow me to uh, install the most recent uh, Mac uh, operating system. I um, already have it uh, downloaded. So, um, and so we're actually going to try to install it now, and we're just going to bring it up, and you'll, you'll get this uh, uh, one right here. Uh, from 2010 to uh, yeah um, so you got to you got upgrade to uh, 2010 firmware or you can downgrade it's kind of grayed out it says downgrade to 2009 firmware now keep in mind if you install it intending to upgrade the processor and RAM and stuff if you install it and then try to downgrade obviously you're gonna really mess up your computer it won't be supported and you, you may not even boot Um, we're actually going to take a look at um, the version here. We're going to bring this up. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to show. It's showing a uh, Mac Pro early 2009. Sometimes it actually changes the numbers. And we'll see if we can bring up system report. And it may actually change this once you upgrade. We're showing Mac Pro 4.1. So we're going to come back um, after the upgrade, and then um, I'll show you it and tell you how it goes. How you doing, guys? I guess there was an update uh, to upgrading the firmware to my uh, 2009 Mac Pro. Um, it gave me actually an error message uh, when I was trying to flash the uh, firmware. Uh, I believe it was error 5570. Um, apparently, Apple had an update um, to be able to get this to work. You're going to have to download the Mac Pro EFI firmware update 1.5, and you're going to mount it. And here it is right here before you start it, before you start the, uh, the firmware flashing. 
And then once you do that, it will, the uh, firmware tool will make a RAM disk with the uh, 2010 uh, firmware and will flash your firmware. And as you, as you can see here, once I did that, mounted the uh, EFI update from Apple, then it went ahead and installed it. And it gives you instructions on how to install it the rest of the way. So you're going to have to shut it all the way down. And then when you turn it back on, you'll simply hold in the power button until it either flashes or it'll give you a tone and it will go to a gray screen and it'll start installing and flashing the uh, firmware for you. And uh, so we're going to come back and uh, check it out once we're finished. Well, um, actually, I tried to install the firmware twice. It didn't work. Um, looked around, and it seemed that um, perhaps something installing it in El Capitan is a problem. So I do happen to have Yosemite. Um, so I booted to Yosemite and did the same process, which it did install. And I'll go ahead and show you that. And uh, we're going to go to System Report. Now, if you look right here, Model Identifier, Mac Pro 5.1. So it's now Mac Pro 5.1. Uh, something also, the uh, boot ROM version changes as well. And the last three letters would be uh, B07 for the 4.1. And 5.1 is now uh, B03. Now, keep in mind a couple of things is um, even with the final release of uh, Mac OS Sierra, they could still block um, the firmware up upgraded um, 4.1 Mac Pros and then obviously it would install. You could still um, boot or flash the, uh, the ROM and the boot ROM and still even though you couldn't update it, if Apple blocked it, you, you would still not really hurt anything. Plus, you could upgrade the CPU and the memory as well. Um, now, even though they have a public beta release of Sierra and also for de developers, I wouldn't suggest installing it yet simply because um, the new file system doesn't support startup disks. And I could show you uh, right here. So here's a startup disk, and then, so you would probably have to install it as an external drive, or you can do it internally if you have a, a Mac Pro uh, cheese grater, old style, and then simply um, when you boot up to it, uh, push D and then select your disk, that might work. Um, plus, Time Machine won't work as well, and a couple other cleavits. So uh, it's probably recommended to uh, wait till the final release this fall of uh, Sierra. And uh, okay, that's uh, upgrading your uh, firmware to uh, 5.1, and then installing Sierra once it gets released.